It was a week ago tonight a routine call became a deadly ambush. Among the phone calls to News Channel 9's Andrew Donovan was the Oneida County Sheriff checking in on the situation out of his area. It wasn't until hours later they learned Officer Jensen was an Oneida County native. The Sheriff reflects with News Channel 9's Andrew Donovan. Attending another officer's funeral, Oneida County Sheriff Rob Machel remembers the others he's had to cry through. In order, uh, KBW's Kurt Brian Wyman, Thomas Lindsay, and Joseph Kaur. His uniform decorated with three pins for three fallen heroes. Those three were killed in, as you know, a very short time in Oneida County, uh, killed in a line of duty. Within five years, in 2006, New Hartford police officer Joe Corr chasing after jewelry store robbers. In 2007, Utica police officer Thomas Lindsay pulling over his would-be killer. And in 2011, Deputy Kurt Wyman shot at a standoff in rural Oneida County. Names Rome native Michael Jensen heard growing up. Now he joins the list of fallen heroes. We have an obligation, as we have with so many other police officers killed in a line of duty, we have an obligation to never forget their sacrifices. A sacrifice the sheriff witnessed in command the night his deputy died. Growing up, my dad taught me to think a veteran, and I do every time I see one. But we also, every time we see a police officer, we must say thank you, because like I said, it's, it's, they, are, they are the only thing between, between uh, the, the community and, and evil. His dad's words of wisdom, but with new meaning as a dad himself. I'm also a dad of a police officer. Uh, my oldest child is a, is a police officer in the city of Utica, and she's been on the job for almost eight years. And uh, she's real tough. She's like her mom. She's tough as nails. And, uh, but still, I worry terribly about her every day when she goes to work. A worry that became reality for the Jensen family. In Rome, Andrew Donovan, News Channel 9.